Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm on reserves. I'm on reserves like all month. And I am rushing to the airport because they called me. Um, they called me for a two day. I'm good for three days. That means they can keep me out for three days. But they called me for two days. So I packed a really good lunch. You know, my avocado, my grapes. Oh my gosh, I have chicken. I have just the whole nine yards. Well, when you're on reserve, sometimes this happens. Well, they call me and I'm like, okay, I'm good. Let me hurry up, put them in makeup, blah, 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 blah. Let me get to the airport. But I never checked my board, meaning I never checked my schedule until I got in the car on my way to the airport. Well, <laughs> they're sending me to Belize. I'm not overnighting, but I'm going Fort Lauderdale and then to Belize. Well, when you go into some of the countries that you go into, when you come back to clear customs, you cannot bring your food back. Like my grapes, things that are not sealed. And so, you know what that means? I have to throw it in the garbage. Throw it in the garbage. I can't even leave it in my car because you guys I live in Florida. And if you know anything about living in Florida, if you leave food in the car, by the time you get back, and this has happened to me personally, um, you'll come back to find a bunch of friends in your car called ants, okay? Or some type of, some type of critters. I just had to vent this morning. And who better to vent to than to you guys? Because no one else is going to listen to me. <laughs> Hopefully you guys listen to me. Anyway, I'll fill you in on what happens. Right. So you guys, I made it to the airport and I already checked in. Still dead, they have me dead heading to Fort Lauderdale and then working a flight from Fort Lauderdale to Belize and working from Belize back to Fort Lauderdale. As of now, they have me, um, tomorrow they have me dead heading back to my base. Okay, let me tell you something about reserves. <laughs> it may say that right now, but tomorrow it could be a whole different schedule. That's what happens when you're on reserves. You just, you don't know where you're gonna end up. You don't know where you're sleeping. You're just all over the place, basically. So yeah, right now they have me coming back to base, but tomorrow, who knows, I could end up in California or Cancun that would be nice you never know so we're gonna play this by ear and I'll let you guys know what hey guys so here's the deal I am now in Fort Lauderdale I made it here and without having to really get rid of my food because you know I was so concerned about my food However, I tried to eat all of it. <laughs> I just didn't want to waste my food, so I tried to eat all of it. It is now quarter to six p.m. I've been eating since nine o'clock this morning, like nonstop, just to eat all my food because I knew that I couldn't take certain things through customs. So I just, I know, I'm not even eating dinner tonight, not eating breakfast tomorrow. I've eaten so much and it was all healthy stuff, but it doesn't matter because you can eat all the healthy stuff in the world. If you eat eight pounds of it, you're gonna put on the weight. So anyway, I'm in my hotel room. I flew from Orlando to Fort, no, deadheaded Orlando to Fort Lauderdale work from Fort Lauderdale to Belize, work from Belize to Fort Lauderdale. Now we're here. Now remember, I am on day one of reserves. I have two more days left. Who knows where I'm gonna end up tomorrow. The sun is shining, it's beautiful out, but mm, I'm not going out. I have things to catch up on, like my videos. I'm gonna binge watch other people's videos. Uh, YouTube videos, which is my favorite. I prefer that over anything. So, um, I did get lucky again. I get lucky quite often. Two beds. Told you guys I like my two beds. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going out. The pool was looking beautiful. The lobby was smelling good. But I'm staying cooped up. I'm going to put my pajamas on. So anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing and get to relaxing. 
and that's it and i'll see you guys in the morning good morning you guys yep the morning came very quickly but I did sleep, so that's a good thing. Anyway, remember I told you guys scheduling will probably change my schedule. And of course, never fails. They did because I'm still on reserves. They could do whatever they want to me. So what they decided to do now, supposedly I work or deadhead one leg from Fort Lauderdale to Orlando. Scratch that. No longer. So now they have me deadheading from Fort Lauderdale to Orlando, deadhead again from Orlando to Baltimore, sit in Baltimore for a little bit, then work the flight from Baltimore to Orlando. Yeah. Who knows? That's probably not going to work out. They, they may, I don't know. I can't even guess. You cannot guess when it comes to reserves. I got my war paint on. Everything is set. I'm um, all done. Ready to go downstairs in about mm, a little less than 30 minutes. Yes, I'm early. I'm always early because one thing I do believe in, which I learned from the army, when you're on time, you're late. So I'm 30 minutes early, so I'm on time. <laughs> hey, you guys. I'm in Baltimore and we have three hours three hours so I'm at Pot Bellies and I'm getting a salad. There's a whole bunch of new places here in Baltimore. I'll show you guys as I'm passing but three hours we gotta find something to do. Well you guys I'm back home. It's been a long day. When I talked to you guys last I was in the Baltimore um, airport getting something to eat for me this is still day two of my reserve when I got in I called scheduling they released me for the day so in actuality because I have that tomorrow left they can call me my contact time is at 5 30 or 5 45 in the morning so, they can only use me for one day. They could do whatever, but they have to have me back home by tomorrow. So they can send me to Alaska, but they better have me back home in Orlando. <laughs> anyway, I'm tired. I need something to eat. And this is where I don't care about eating right. I am just, I have a craving, and I am going to fulfill my craving. So what am I doing? I'm going to Burger King. That's right, I'm going to Burger King. I don't care. That's how I feel right now. I don't know why I feel this way, I just do. So I'm going to Burger King. I only want one thing, and that's a Whopper. I don't want any of the fixings. I don't want fries or nothing like that. Just, um, how the heck do you get in here? I don't even know how you get in here. Um, that's all I want. And then I'm gonna go home and unpack my bag. So my bags are packed for, you know, three days and more. So what I need is to, I'm sorry, I'm like doing too many things at once. What I need to do is unpack the three day bag and get my what I call a turn bag. So it's just a small bag. Throw some things in there just in case you get stuck. You know, you want clean underwear and toothbrush and all that stuff in there. So ooh, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. So let me get my Burger King. Get my Craven taken care of. And I'll talk to you guys. Yeah, I'm getting my Whopper. I'm here at the window. Sad, but true. Yeah. I have to have it. Usually, when I have cravings, it's usually Taco Bell. But, um, yeah. Not today. Okay, thank you. You too. They looked at me like I was crazy. Probably because I'm holding a camera. <laughs> anyway, whoops. 
let's get home to eat this morning, you guys. As you can see, I'm home and I am rushing right now because, like I told you, I was good for one more day. Yeah, I am. I'm good for another day. Oops, sorry, I had to turn the light up. I'm trying to get out of here. Um, good for another day. Scheduling called me for a turn. I have to work from Orlando to Oklahoma City. And then I deadhead, I don't know, I think Houston or something like that. And then from Houston home. So, yeah, I'm running, running, running. I told you guys before I was going to switch my bags. I don't have time. I'm just taking my three-day bag. Throw them, I already threw my stuff in there. Got the war paint on, ready to go. So let's get to the airport. You know what, you guys? I still get, it sounds crazy, but I still get butterflies in my stomach when I'm on reserves. I just I freak out. <laughs> I don't think that'll ever change. I've been flying for a little over six years and when scheduling calls me, I could be totally dressed. Today I wasn't, but I could be totally dressed and I'm just like, <gasps> trying to get the makeup on straight and everything oh a mess my husband laughs at me but I still get the butterflies because like I told you guys before you don't want to delay a flight and that's always in the back of my mind like I got to make it on time I got to be on time I got to clock in on time let me hurry up so yeah <laughs> I don't think that'll ever go away I'm stopping to get some coffee at Dunkin Donuts before I go in they do have I think I think they have Dunkin' Donuts in the airport. I'm not sure, but it's not on my side. They only have McDonald's and, um, what's the name of the other place? McDonald's and, oh, Starbucks. Mm. Starbucks, that's a last resort thing for me. I'm not big on Starbucks, but Dunkin' Donuts, oh yeah. So, of course, my decaf, cream and sugar, please. <laughs> yes, hi, can I get a, um, Medium decaf coffee hot cream and sugar, please, and that's it. A medium hot decaf coffee cream and sugar. Any flavor? Any? No, 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 no. just, just Anything that. To eat for you today? No, thank you. Okay, two twenty-four. We'll see you at the window. Okay, thank you. You know, I like that they're so sweet, but I don't need all that this morning. I got to hurry up. <laughs> She's offering everything. No, I don't want anything to eat. No, just what I ordered. That's it. Is that mean? Maybe it is, <laughs> but I gotta go. Okay guys, can I say this? I'm mad, I am mad, but I don't have time to argue with anyone. They gave me the coffee, it is not hot. Okay, do I throw the coffee out? Oh, you know, some, some days, some days, <laughs> that doesn't happen too often at Dunkin' Donuts. Not usually. My coffee is usually really hot, but they were so so nice <laughs> that I, I don't I can't even complain because I'm just only because I have to go to work. I have to get there. But if I didn't have to go to work, I would nicely go inside and say, I'm sorry, can you all brew another um hot decaf coffee, please? But oh well. What can you do? Do you guys take your stuff back? Now there's certain places I don't take my stuff. When I'm eating out at a restaurant, oh no, 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 no. I don't usually send my stuff back. And we all know why. Because we don't know, you know, you know. They may drag it across the floor or something, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for those of you that work in that industry, but hey, that's been the rumor forever. For a reason. <laughs> hey guys. Well, I'm in Houston. The second part of my deadhead. I work to Oklahoma City, Orlando. Deadheaded to, wait a minute. Yeah, deadheaded here to Houston, yeah. I'm in the Mac store. What better way to waste my time than in the Mac store? Love it. So I'm gonna hit Mac store up and then go to my gate because I leave it about an hour. I will deadhead to um, Orlando. Yep. Oh, by the way, I'm a gum chewer, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> anyway, let's look at some. So there you go, you guys. That's the end of my three day reserve block. Back home, I just worked the, uh, no, deadheaded from Houston into Orlando. And that's it. Now I'm going out to do the stuff that normal people do run errands. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.